Now you have your, your LeBron James and your Kevin Durant and guys that can do many things really well, but they're really the unicorns in the league. There's 10 to 15 of those guys. Everybody else does one thing well. We got Hall of Famers and, and one of the best, some of the best players that ever played a game came off the bench or didn't play. That don't mean you ain't good. There's guys in the NBA that don't play. Does that mean they're not good? They got to the NBA because they were sorry? Mm -mm. They're just playing a role. If you don't want to roll, play tennis or play golf. Because then you can do what you want to do. And then you got nobody else to blame because it's only an individual sport. If that's what you want to do, play tennis or play golf. But if you want to play a team sport, there's going to be things that you can't, you got to give up to get what you want. But just know in the NBA, that's approximately 450 of the best basketball players on the planet. You realize there's only about 10 or 15 of them that do multiple things really, really well. Everybody else in the NBA is what's called a role player. They have one, maybe two skill sets that they perform at a world-class level, and that's why they get paid an increasingly insane amount of money to do those one or two things. On any given team, everybody got to know their role from the jump. If, if, and if it changes, it changes, but then you talk about that as well. But if, if you don't know your role, it's different, it's difficult. You know, there's a, handful of, there's a handful of shooters that I could name right now. You know, someone like a Kyle Korver or a JJ Redick, you know, a player like that, those guys were making 10, 12, 15 million dollars a year. And I say this respectfully, this is in no way said to diminish them. Those guys got paid $15 million a year, and those two guys could do one thing on the basketball court. Shoot the basketball. One thing. We can talk IQ shit all we want, but at the end of the day, motherfuckers gotta play a role in the NBA. Yes. It's too much for a team that can do what the fuck they want to do. And 13 other motherfuckers, they gotta play a role. <laughs> they can do what the fuck they want to do. Everybody else got a role. So you're gonna either master your role or you're gonna get the fuck out. And it's just that simple. If you can get one rebound every four minutes, you guys know how long an NBA game is? 48 minutes. If you get one rebound every four minutes, how many rebounds would you have in that game? 12. You get 12 rebounds a game, they sign you to a max contract. In today's day and age, a max contract is over $100 million. Someone will pay you, not, not necessarily y'all, but Someone will pay you a hundred million dollars if you can get one rebound at least every four minutes. Now talk about focus. Yeah, that really puts it in perspective. And you stay within that, and if you start within that, maybe that next year you might get a little bit more. Right. But it was like a gradual build, yeah, for sure. Because it was like, if you, if you do your role and he does his role and he does his role, we have a chance to win. Yeah. And that's all that matters. This doesn't mean you're bad at things or other things, but what are the one or two things that you can contribute and focus on for the betterment of the entire group? There is a time and a place to look at appropriate and applicable weaknesses that need to be improved. But the vast majority of our focus needs to be on the things that we already do well. Can you do something well and make it world class? Because if each and every one of you can do something that adds something world-class to this team, then you'll absolutely be able to continue to, to head towards that North Star.